What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua. It is confirmed that the fight will be in November, okay? The venue, the place hasn't been confirmed, but the rematch between Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz is confirmed for November. Now, personally, I would want it in the UK. I mean, US. Because it started in the U.S. You know, if he wants to make amends, you know, he came over here and wants to make his British invasion. I think he should continue that by making the effort to fight where it all went wrong. And that's right here in the USA. Um, the U.K., it might seem good and it might seem like, OK, sure, you can exercise what's all in the contract. You got the rematch. But then yet, yeah, why would you want to? You know, if you want to give no excuses truly show us that you won't want to give us any excuses because let's say it goes 12 rounds and you win a decision well what can we say about that we didn't say about Deontay Wilder winning the decision against Tyson Fury so we got to be fair about it so if it happens in the USA and he can make amends in the USA that would be more reverence to him because he was able to do something that he attempted to do the first time versus it's almost like you lost in the U.S. and then it's like you're not fighting here again for the rematch makes it look like you're bitter or you can't achieve your objective that you intended to do. Like you retreated to do something else versus, you know, because, you know, like, why would you alter your plan? Right. It's just postponed. It's just a setback, just like Anthony Joshua said himself. This is just a temporary setback. So there should be no reason to reschedule it in the UK, okay? Because the April 13th date was scrapped a long time ago, okay? So there's no reason for him to fight over there. Now, he is going to stay with his trainer, Rob McCracken, so that was all rumors, as we found out. Um, I feel they should add somebody else, you know, like kind of like how uh, Tyson Fury did with Freddie Roach. He added Freddie Roach on with Ben Davison, right? So, like, two heads were better than one in that situation. So, um, I think that could only help with Anthony Joshua. He gets the familiarity with his old trainer, plus he has some instruction with a new trainer, a new fresh trainer. You know what I mean? I think that would be the best way, you know. And, you know, looking at that fight, I'm glad we had a pinpoint date on it. I know it was exercise, but this just really confirms that Anthony Joshua wants to get what he lost, you know, even though he takes it better than most. But, you know, I'm glad there is a date because that shows that he's eager to get back in the ring and get what he lost against Andy Ruiz. But again, it should not be in the UK simply because it didn't, the problems didn't start in the UK. You don't want to give anyone excuses to say more and more things about you when it comes to what you feel is comfortable, right? Come out of your comfort zone. You've already done that. Prove that you can fight past adversity in your comfort zone. Because the first thing people are going to say is, well, well, Fury was able to come over here and do what he did with Deontay Wilder on top of continue his career over here in the U.S., whereas Joshua gets beat and then he runs home. You see what I'm saying? That does not look good for his career, period. It's just a bad look all the way around. Now, you can sit here, if you're a real diehard to AJ fan, you can sit here and say, no, it should be in the UK because he owes it to the British fans. Listen, the British fans came over to support him, so that's enough right there. So if you don't feel you don't feel at home hearing Sweet Caroline, you ain't going to feel at home, brother. I'm sorry. That's not going to work that way. He has enough fans that come across the pond to support him because British fighters support British Fans support British fighters, okay? And they've shown it and proved it time and time again, everywhere from Khan to Princess Seema Med to Ricky Hatton to Lennox Lewis, right? To now Anthony Joshua, okay? So, yeah, I don't think that he had to have to worry about wanting to go over there. Um, I think he's going to run into a problem with Eddie Hearn, honestly, because, you know, Eddie Hearn's saying one thing and Anthony Joshua saying another thing. You know what I mean? And... That could be a potential problem, but 
in my opinion, me counterpunching it, it should be in the U.S. of A. But we do have a month. So we pinpointed a month. Now we're looking for the date, the actual date, the actual venue, the actual place. So anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Anthony Joshua confirming November being the rematch month. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunching. Peace.